Okay, I'm sitting in the car. These are the instructions you get from Sound German Automotive for the install kit. And I was missing some pages, so I emailed Russell. And he, uh, and I had some questions too about this, uh, the star connector and which, where it goes, which it, it doesn't matter. And then also just, I forgot what else I asked him, but he pretty much, for my application, this is what I need to follow. This little block diagram right here. Um, so I chose to mount it. I'm going to mount it in the glove box because it's a real small unit. It's not too, too big. And then it's got that little hole. So I figured, you know, this goes in here. I'll punch that hole out. It's about the same size as that. And then curl it all up underneath. And it just, you know, just like this. Because these have to go to a ground, 12 volt switch, 12 volt constant, and all that's here in the fuse box. And then just route it to the shifter will be here. Um, the plug, I'm gonna go through here, because it's right underneath here, so go right in there. And then it's got one of these ports too. And this, this right here will stay with it for, uh, that's for programming. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna mount it there. I think it'll be fine. It'll be, you know, it'll be hidden. Everything will be hidden from it. And all you'll see is a shifter, which I went with this from a, it's from a Durango, I think. And then I, I bought that little scat pack, mag, uh, sticky thing that you put on it. But, and then I'll, I'm gonna have to build a console to set this somewhere. You know, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. You know, I think some people have them put somewhere like in here or something but i'm just gonna build a console because i want cup holders too so but for now i'm just gonna set it there all right so i got it mocked up and it looks like it worked pretty good see i had you just have to cut with the razor right and i shoved it through there connected it right now it's just it's just loose in there but i'll and i can move it right there and put a hole through here with a bolt or something it's just cardboard it's a new uh glove box line or two it's only a couple years old yeah that'll work then and these just will come up underneath here and terminate as i go all right so on this um block diagram here um that one's pretty easy you can put that in your uh star connector anywhere um this one i've already ran it this one i ran it to my mopar crate to where it's uh, the same one as that brown and blue. And then uh, this one's ground. So this one, these two right here, for my application, we're gonna have to add these two um, to this to this thing. So I'm gonna try to do this, uh, trying to hold it with a camera and try to do it, but I've already got this to where you pry up on it, on, these, on each side, and once it's loose, it'll It'll raise off of here. And you can set that aside. And so if we look at this instruction sheet on this page, it'll have all these all these all these locations of where it would need to go. So you know if we come over here and look at uh, break input, the, the gray and black one. Um, Yep, brake switch gray and black. So you could trace you could trace the wire back, and it wants to go into pin two gray and black. So we follow it all the way down, and back. That's it. So we need it to go into pin two of here, and then the pink and black, which was for um, pink and black, neutral, safe. That's it, pink and black. It wants to go in pin 53. So if we look at this picture, you can see one through 14, and then it's got 15 and it's got them all labeled. So what I did was I just looked, okay, what, what, which one is number, number 15 is a white red and 16 is white black. So if I look here, there's white, red, white, black. So pin number one is this first one. So pin two, that'll be for gray. And then 
if we're looking for pink and black, 53. So if 56 is all the way down on the opposite, we'll come up three to 53. So we'll just pull these out and then we'll come from, from up top and insert them in, but we need to take this off first. Oh, we need to take this off first. So we you take a little pry tool and I'm just using a pick. You insert it right there and then pop it. Pop it. And then this should come off of here. Okay. So you can see the ones that are already done. Okay, so we're going for number two. Number two. These are just like a plastic little tab thing here. Maybe you need to get some different pliers. Nope. Okay. That's all that is. You see that? Yeah. Okay, so now we need the gray and black. Little doohickey. Try to match it so it's gonna go in like this. And let me put the wire on this side. So it's gonna go with the opening like this. See how that's kind of it's a square, but it's like an open spot. We're gonna shove it in there. There we go. It clicked in. All right, so. Gray and black, terminal number two. All right, let's move on. Terminal number 53. Okay, that's gonna be neutral safety. And then 54, if you did the reverse lights, that's where the other one would come in. So uh, we got, I hope this is good enough for everybody to see. Let me. We got this one in. It'll go down like that. Okay. So 56, 55, 54, 53. This one's going to be a little difficult, but. All right. Maybe I should get some needle nose pliers, but let me do that. Let me get needle nose to get up in there. Okay. I got some better wires. I mean, wire. Uh, pliers so we'll go 56 55 54 53 oh can I get a grip okay all right so that's where that one's gonna go let me see And again, I just want to make sure you can kind of see where there's a, a small one already in there. So it wants to face like these. Like that. So it's going to actually face outside. Stick that in there. Got it. Heard it click. Okay. So that's those two. There. And so at this point, if you're going to do... If you're going to do the pink with red stripe for reverse lights. And there's also... TPS signal ground. We already got that. Yeah, so right there, I think that's it. According to our. Yeah, according to this block diagram. So we've got these two, so we can put it back together. And we'll go from there. 
So. This will just push down on here, just click. Um, and then now I actually have this. I want to put another zip tie here though, because it came with one to kind of bundle them all up. I hope y'all can see this a little better. Uh, let me see, razor blade. I'll go in the terminal too, or in this little, I want to shove them in here for now, I'll figure it out in a minute. Okay, so now we can zip tie this, I'm going to zip tie. Okay, looks good. Put this back on. Okay, that should be it. And then this will, you know, we plug it back in. All right, bear with me. Okay, got the new pins added. Got that back in there. I just, I closed the, closed up that little, that little hole. It, It'll, it'll work, I think. I mean, ain't nobody going to see it. I'm not going to keep much in there. But anyway, so I got red and yellow are already hooked up. I got my ground. So these are the two I had to add. So what I did was on these Mopars, this this white one here. They're too bright. This white one here came off the brake switch. So when you tap on the brake, this hits 12 volts. And so that's what the gray and black needed. So I just I cut the end off and tied these two together. So this will go back up in there. And then this one was the pink, and I will join it up with um, pink and black goes to the Mopar harness. This this was for the, um, it says clutch interlock, but it was also uh, neutral. I think the neutral safety switch, which I think I'm just going to ground anyways. But uh, I'm going to clean all this up, stuff all this stuff up underneath the dash, and uh, move on to... Um, I need to I need to cut a hole for this and then I'll, and then this is it right here is for the shifter so do these two and mounting this port here under the dash okay this is where I'm gonna end the uh, wiring video this optional connector I didn't need that for mine so I'm just gonna stuff it underneath the dash I've got my uh, shifter plugged in I ran this through the floor and it just connects right in here. I've got the OBD2 port for the trans. I've got pretty much everything wired up. I just have it loosely held here because I want to test it out. And then my pedal. But anyway, so I've got all the stuff and I even was able to contact Russell because I had some issues. And he pretty much said the gray and black one needs to go to that brake switch, you know. Um, the this one needs to happen he said the other ones the transmission doesn't care the other ones are just for our benefit so when it comes to this block diagram that's pretty much it so uh, hopefully this showing you how to pin these helped out because I, I don't know if everybody's comes this way I know some people have instructions some don't some have an older style thing and you know from what Russell's saying, it, it, he streamlined it. So if you need to add stuff, you got to add stuff. Um, but let me know if you got any questions. I'm hoping that this weekend I get this thing running. I need to install my drive shaft and my exhaust.